Father Jonathan Meyer from All Saints Parish, and you are alive in your faith. This week we're looking at the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And this gospel passage is one that I think has a, a tremendous message for you to be the saint that God is calling you to be. So let's look at this. We are we'll be looking at Matthew chapter 13, 24 through verse 30. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone is asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slave of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, an enemy has done this. His slave said to him, do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, no. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them into bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Weeds and wheat. There's uh, some pretty powerful images here. First off, I think is obvious. We look at this, this, this biblical passage. We know that we're supposed to be the wheat. We're supposed to be the thing that's harvested. We're supposed to be the thing that's brought in by our God. And we know the weeds are the things that we want out of the garden. Yet they don't go away, do they? Think about the struggles and the sins in your life. They don't go away. People often come to confession and be like, okay, bless you, Father, for I have sinned, and they tell me all their sins. And, and in the confession, I always like to tell people, I was like, hey, your sins are forgiven. You walk out of here completely clean, immaculate, new. But just so you know, when you go back out there, the temptation is going to be there. The sin is there. You need to change your life, but you need to know that the sin is going to be there. The weeds and the wheat, they're together. The weeds don't go away. Also, let's just think about weeds just for a little bit there. I was a young kid, we had a huge garden. And one thing that always amazed me about weeds is sometimes the beautiful flowers that they would produce. There's something beautiful about them. But they weren't just beautiful. What do we know about a lot of weeds as well? It's like once you actually touch them, they hurt you. We used to call them prickers. Isn't the same true with sin? Doesn't sin often look really great, look appealing? And what happens when we get close to sin? It hurts. God allows the wheat and the, wheat, the weeds to be together. We have to remain strong. We have to allow ourselves who are called to be wheat to grow while not allowing the weeds to overpower us. What are the weeds in your life that need to be uprooted? I want to take us through our discussion questions this week. So the first question is always, what is the message or story that Jesus is trying to bring about through this parable? What's the good news? How is this a good news? How is it good news that Jesus says, let the weeds and the wheat be together? Have you ever grown a garden? What was that like? How much work was put into growing a garden? Have you ever pulled weeds? Is it true that sometimes when you pull the weeds, the good plants come with the weeds? Do weeds look like the plants you're desiring to grow? How do weeds look different than the plants you're desiring to grow? And what does that mean for us? 
Like, what does that mean in the fact of like, we know that weeds don't look like weeds. We know that. We know that weeds don't look like wheat. We know that. In our world, we as Christians live among weeds. We live among evil. How is this a challenge? How would your life be different if you just lived completely among wheat? So what effects does living among weeds bring about? What will happen to the weeds at the end of the world? And what will happen to the wheat at the end of the world? And how does that bring you hope? Interesting question here. In horticulture, can a weed turn into wheat? What about in Jesus' mind? And it's hard to live among weeds. Who do you need? Who do you know that needs help today? Who do you know that is a, a stalk of wheat that's being surrounded by weeds that's being choked? And how can you help them? Act on that today. It's my hope that this little reflection will help you to become the saint that God is calling you to be. God wants you to be a saint. Be a saint. Be the wheat. And allow the weeds in your life to not choke you. God bless you. Be the saint that he's calling you to be. Amen.